Hey everyone, Ashley Josephine here. We've got a beautiful morning, the sun is shining. I don't know a whole lot about lighting, so I do the best I can, but we've got a lot of sunlight right here, so we're just going to imagine that the sun is shining in and brightening up our practice and forget about the fact that the video quality might be not as great this morning because of the sunlight. I'm a yoga teacher, not a videographer. That's something that I will learn someday, and I will improve the quality of the videos soon enough. We are going to start working on chakras. So I've been doing a lot of research and learning about the chakras lately, and I've noticed that I've, as I've integrated the chakras into my classes, my students have really, really enjoyed learning about the different chakras and how they affect your life, and also how you can heal your own body when you start to bring the chakras and the chakra healing into your practice. So we're going to start, there's seven chakras. We'll do a seven week series each week. I'll share with you a new video on a new chakra and we'll start with number one. So the first chakra is located at the very base of the spine in the coccyx region. And I guess before we go into the chakras, specifically it's helpful to let you know what it is that I'm even talking about. So the chakras are a form a system really of energy medicine that originated with yoga and it said that there are seven energy centers in our body and they move up the center line of our body and in each energy center we have these energies that are spinning and they each designate different things in our lives. So our root chakra, our base chakra, the one at the coccyx, the base of the spine, is all about survival and earth and grounding. And so when we work on chakra poses for the first chakra, it's all about grounding down and feeling a connection with the earth and feeling safe and secure in our space. This chakra is all about our self-worth. Each chakra has emotions and feelings that are associated with it. And it also deals with money. So when you were growing up, if you never felt safe, or if you were always put in a survival mode, if you were always worried about money, or you came from a family where money issues were a really big deal, then those emotional experiences at a young age cement themselves into your first chakra and show up later in your life as patterns that might continue to throw you off track or keep you from getting to a place where you want to be in your life. So the chakra system gives us a lot of information that we can look at from an energetic level but then also from an emotional mental level so that we can start to understand the patterns in our body that we're caught in and then move from one chakra to the next to clear away old habits that are no longer serving us and move forward in our life with newfound confidence and self-worth and really operate from a space of wholeness, a space of security and safety and light and vitality and abundance. So that's a really simplified breakdown of the chakra system. It's very, very complex. But we certainly don't have time to get into all the complexities in our short videos. It might be something that I offer in a longer format course in the future. But for today, just for a brief introduction, let's start with some movement to get into the first chakra. And we'll start by coming up to standing in mountain pose. So start by bringing your feet about hip distance apart, and your feet will become the most important part of this pose. The first chakra located at the base of the spine is all about the lower body, so the legs and the knees and the feet. So pick up all ten toes and feel that spot underneath the big toe. Press really firmly into the ground. And feel that connection with the earth. And you might not feel any energy per se, but imagine that you're pulsing energy downward from the base of your spine into the earth like you're creating your roots. You're really feeling safe and supported by the ground that you stand on. And let your arms just hang by your side, palms face out. Find a soft gaze, maybe close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths here constantly pressing your feet into the ground and connecting with the earth.
And as you press down into the feet, you'll notice that you start to feel the pressure in the legs elevate. Now we're going to start to pull our feet apart without actually moving them. So imagine that you're standing on two paper plates on a wooden floor and you're actually trying to pull those paper plates away from each other so you'll really feel an activation in the legs. You're not actually going to move, you can keep your hands exactly where they are, but you're imagining that you're pulling your two feet apart. You might even start to shake. And this is where you can really start to feel the energy building. Whatever you call energy or think of as energy, it doesn't matter. You definitely feel something here. And for the purpose of our discussion about the chakras, we're going to call this activation energy. So keep pulling the feet apart. It's a great workout for the legs and you don't even have to move. Keep pressing down through the feet, that downward movement of energy moving down and then pressing the legs out. The legs are shaking possibly. Continue to breathe. And then release that feeling. Press down through the feet. Pull the arms up overhead. So imagine that the energy is moving down through the legs and then that is supporting and securing you to the earth. Now from the base of the spine, feel some energy moving up, out through the fingertips, so that you feel really connected to the earth, but you're still reaching up towards the sky. We're grounding down in our root chakra, but we're not getting stuck there. We're still moving up and forward in our life and in our world. Activated, the, the legs are still very activated. Take one more deep inhale here. Exhale, come down to a forward fold just to get out of the legs, relax them for a moment. Shake out your head and your neck. Relax your shoulder blades down. Then bend your knees and come onto your back. So now we're going to find a connection with the base of the spine on our back. Starting with a pose that's called wind removing pose actually, grab hold of your right knee and pull it into your chest. And you'll actually pull it out towards the side of the right rib cage, almost into the armpit, and really pull it. And as you're pulling this knee into your chest, you'll feel a stretch in the outside of the right hip, but also feel the base of your spine grounding down into the mat or the ground. Feel that connection and see if you can feel as you breathe an expansion of the low spine as you pull the leg in. Still feeling deeply connected, secure, safe, and supported by the ground that you lay on. And let the breath help you feel that expansion, breathing down into the base of the spine. And then release the right leg down and switch sides. Pull your left knee in over to the side. Give it a nice squeeze, pull it out slightly towards the armpit. Your right leg is relaxing down to the ground. You don't really need to have it too active here. But continue to press the coccyx, the very base of the low spine, down into the mat, the tailbone. And as you breathe, feel that area expand. And notice that this side might feel completely different. As you inhale and your belly expands, you can even feel the low back, the coccyx region expand as well. We're expanding that groundedness, that feeling of security and ease in our lives as we do this. Reassuring ourselves that we are okay, that we are safe and supported. And then release the left leg down. Moving into bridge pose, so place the soles of the feet on the ground, find that very firm connection to the mat. Reach with your arms and your fingertips, maybe pull your feet in so that you can reach the back of the ankles. Pigeon toe your feet in slightly and pick up all 10 toes. Feel that connection to the earth. Plant those roots. Start to lift up so that the weight comes into the shoulders. Pressing forward through the shins, tailbone pointing towards the knees. 
core active and strong as you lift your hips up. Hands and arms supporting you underneath you, maybe even interlacing the fingers and pushing the shoulders underneath you to elevate the heart. Now here in this bridge pose, we really want to focus on pressing the feet firmly into the ground, rooting ourselves in this pose. Continue your deep breathing. Keep pressing your shins forward. You'll definitely feel it in the legs. And watch to see if you're really clutching or gripping the glute muscles and see if you can relax them and release them but still allow the legs to be active and strong. Feel safe and supported here. A sturdy, stable bridge. If a windstorm were to come, you wouldn't budge. Any chaos that arrives in your life will maybe try and blow you over, but you'll stay strong. That's a secure, stable, healthy first chakra. One more deep inhale here. Release your hands underneath you if they were crap, grasped, and start to slowly lower one vertebra down to time your last vertebra, that coccyx, the base of the spine, comes down last. Take a moment to really feel it connect. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a nice squeeze. And roll up to your seat. For a seated forward fold. So your legs will come out straight in front of you. Press down through your low spine, through the tailbone. Feel rooted and connected to the earth. Maybe lift yourself up for a moment. Wiggle it out and then press back down so that you're really consciously, with a lot of effort, being cognizant of that connection to the earth with the tailbone. Flex your toes back towards your face, bend your knees if you have tight hamstrings. Now with that rooted feeling, totally connected and grounded to the earth, inhale your arms up overhead so that you're pressing down through the low spine but then channeling that energy upward through the fingertips and the crown of the head. On your exhale, you're going to hinge forward from the waist, grab hold of the outside of the calves, maybe the outside of the feet. Inhale, reach your spine long. Feel that connection to the earth and the tailbone. Exhale, over the legs. Release your head and your neck. Now you're relaxing into this pose. You're feeling a stretch in the hamstrings, maybe in the low back, but you're also feeling very connected very grounded, very peaceful and at ease. Your breath is expanding the tailbone. Your roots are spreading wide. And you bow forward, you surrender in this forward fold to that feeling of connectedness with the earth, with those around you knowing that you are supported and you're going to be okay knowing that you're worth it just feeling really good here feeling safe inhale rise back up Feel that connection one last time. And you can stay there as long as you'd like. Those are some rooting, grounding postures to stimulate the first chakra. Working with feelings of self-worth, working with feelings of safety, security, protection. I hope that you found this interesting. Please let me know what you think about this chakra series. We'll be moving into the second chakra next week, which is located in the hips, doing a lot of hip opening poses working with our creativity and our sexuality. My name is Ashley Josephine. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.